Okay, so this is the project I'm working on. Um, these pieces with the cut ends, this was an old skid I had the water tank for the pigs on. Or the skids from it anyhow. And now I'm making it into a movable uh, wood, wood splitting platform. Anyhow, I'm building it all out of green treated 4x4s and uh, just screwing them in with the awesomest screws I have used yet so far. I've only shot four of them, but man, these right here, Power Pros. Four and a half inch, number 10, and they have the star drive. There we go. And at first I thought I'd have to pre-drill such a long, you know, four and a half inch long screw. That's it right there. You can see that goes. You know, if I left it flush, it goes a little ways, but I want to sink it about an inch. So I pre-drilled those ones, but then it went so freaking easy that I said, hey, yeah, I'll just try it. Didn't pre-drill these, didn't split. It went like crazy. Maybe I'm only half inch in there, but that's fine. But anyhow, I'm gonna show you the, running some more of those. Oh, the other reason they're awesome, I ordered these on Amazon, free shipping. Amazon Prime, five pounds of them for like 30, it was under 40 bucks. And they have longer ones for almost the same price. I think they had six inches, which I almost ordered, but I don't know if I'd ever really use them because the four inches, you can just countersink them so much anyhow. Okay, first off, I'm gonna sink uh, four more into this one, I think. And this is an old piece of green treated. These stuff are brand new, I just bought them last week. Uh, this one's been sitting outside. Let's give her a try. <laughs> She's a little warm. <laughs> she she smoked on the way out there. Let's do another one. Oh yeah, that one feels like it has almost twice as much power. Look at that, it doesn't split it. You probably can't see it, but I'll show you on the, on the next ones I do. Let me just put one more in here. Spin it around. Just dominate some in there. We'll put in approximately the same line of wood so it should be and actually there's a knot right here you can just make it out on the video there so we're gonna run right through that well the edge of that knot anyhow no problem and no splitting it's awesome Just really well designed. I've never had a screw that big slash long not split out the wood. There's, it's really, it's really in, interesting. There's like, there's like little relief cuts in the first, I don't know, inch and a, inch and a little bit. You see those little teeth there? And then, I thought there was a relief on the point, but maybe not. But there's those little notches in, in, in the threads, as you can see. And then there's this bit here. 
And then at the very, very, t ah, where's my hand? Top, focus. There you go. There's like notches out of the head even. It's very interesting. All I know is they work. I came out to work on this today and I noticed uh, this screw veered off and went out the side. So I'm gonna pull that one back out and move it. So I don't really want anything coming out the side like that. Just because it'll catch on stuff, you might cut yourself. If I can. Okay, so now on the way out, she kind of split out the top a bit. It's interesting. The screw still looks straight. Let's put it back in. So that's interesting that it, it, it split it out on the way back out. Like that. The first one that split it all. Interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, let's put this together. I can see. Doesn't really matter because of the size of the tire. 